Metamorphic rocks are the result of the application of heat and pressure to existing rocks of all kinds, which causes them internally to change into something new. When extreme heat is applied, it can affect and metamorphose only the rocks that they touch or are close to. We call this type of metamorphism contact metamorphism. When red hot magma comes into contact with cold sedimentary rocks, it can bake them into new types of rock. When the rock is a shale, we get a rock called hornfells. When the rock is a sandstone, we can get a quartzite. And when the rock is a limestone, we can get marble. Sometimes, large areas of rock are buried due to large-scale forces within the earth. These forces are so big and occur over such long periods of time, it's almost hard to imagine. These forces bury the rocks deep and cause giant masses of rock to change. As these rocks are buried, pressure and heat increase. We call this regional metamorphism. Shales are the most common sedimentary rocks and create the most common regional metamorphic rocks. They first convert to slates and with more heat and pressure can convert to schists and finally gneisses. With each step more minerals line up and form foliation and minerals become more unstable, allowing new minerals to form in their place. Quartzites and marbles can form through regional metamorphism as well. Over time, the heat and pressure destroy all of the features and bedding within the rocks, and what's left behind are the stable minerals, which meld together, forming the new rock.